Hi, I'm Andrea and I'm a NICU nurse. One of the questions we get a lot is what phototherapy system should I choose? Today what we'll do is go over some of the different types of GE phototherapy systems from both a clinical and an engineering perspective to help you choose what's right for you. To help us out, I have a special guest with me, our engineer, Dave, who can help us understand from an engineering and design perspective the differences of each type of phototherapy. GE has three phototherapy systems to choose from, the Giraffe Blue Spot PT, the Billysoft 2.0, and the Lullaby LED phototherapy system. When deciding which phototherapy system or systems is right for you, as a NICU nurse, I like to break it down based on your department's acuity level. Is your unit very high acuity, like a level three or four NICU? A level two NICU or step-down unit? Or is this a nursery or being used for home care? For a high acuity level three or four NICU, where you are using equipment such as the Giraffe Omnibed Care Station or the Giraffe Warmer, as a NICU nurse, I would prefer to have the option of doing double phototherapy with an overhead light and blanket phototherapy so that I can increase the surface area exposed to phototherapy as recommended by the American Academy of Pediatrics for Intensive Phototherapy. As you can see here, we have the Giraffe Blue Spot mounted on the side of the Giraffe Omnibed Care Station. With so much equipment in the NICU, the compact design allows me to save precious floor real estate from being taken up by a phototherapy roll stand. I can also easily move it away when I need to do a procedure. The small lamp head can be positioned so it doesn't block the heat of the radiant warmer. And most importantly, I can get as much as 45 microwatts per centimeter squared per nanometer plus 25% or minus 20% at a distance of approximately 15 inches. I also get a 14 inch treatment diameter that is in the AAP recommended blue green spectrum of 430 to 490 nanometers. And if I have an infant less than 750 grams and I want to start at a lower irradiance level of less than 30, then I can just raise the lamp head higher to reduce the irradiance. At about 50 centimeters or 20 inches, the irradiance reduces to 26 microwatts per centimeter squared per nanometer. Dave, can you tell us about the design? Sure. The way the Giraffe Blue Spot is designed and operated is that there's an LED light source right here inside the box, and we pipe the light down this fiber optic light pipe through a lens that spreads the light evenly over the surface. So you can have a very small lamp head that provides intensive phototherapy as high as 45 microwatts per centimeter squared per nanometer at 15 inches, but it's not obstructing the bed or the caregiver as much because the LED power source is off and away to the side. Thanks Dave for explaining the design. Don't forget that adding two overhead phototherapy systems does not necessarily mean you will get double phototherapy. Two plus two does not equal four in this case. So for example, if you use two overhead lights that both have an irradiance of 20 microwatts per centimeter squared per nanometer, you may see a nominal increase in the irradiance level, but you will not see it increase to 40 microwatts per centimeter squared per nanometer. Now, if I needed to increase the maximum surface area for phototherapy exposure as recommended by the AAP for intensive phototherapy, then I would add the Billysoft 2.0 phototherapy underneath the baby. Increasing the surface area increases the phototherapy. This is the right way to do double phototherapy. There are two pads to choose from. The large pad measures 25 by 30 centimeters or 10 inches by 12 inches and can provide irradiance levels as high as 35 microwatts per centimeter squared per nanometer with the cover on. For the Billysoft 2.0, we increase the size of the small pad to 20 by 25 centimeters or eight inches by 10 inches. The old Billysoft pad was 15 by 30 centimeters or six inches by 12 inches. The small pad still provides the same irradiance levels as the prior generation, as high as 50 microwatts per centimeter squared per nanometer. Both pads provide phototherapy at the recommended AAP spectrum for intensive phototherapy of 430 to 490 nanometers. In this setup, I've mounted the Billysoft 2.0 to the side of the bed, which is my favorite way to use it. That way it stays off the floor and there's less chance of it getting knocked off of a shelf by a nurse or parent. I like to think of the Billysoft 2.0 as the most valuable player, or MVP. It's the most versatile of the GE phototherapy devices. It can be used in a variety of acuity settings from a level three or four NICU to home care. You can still x-ray the baby while it's on the Billysoft 2.0 because it's radiolucent. Or if you need to do intrahospital transport, you can keep the baby on the Billysoft 2.0 and still deliver phototherapy. 
you don't have to worry about losing irradiance due to distance because the baby is laying on the pad. And you don't have to interrupt phototherapy while the baby is bonding with mom or dad, feeding, or when a nurse has to check on the baby. So the other question I get is, how do I choose which pad size? Ideally, it would be great to have both pad sizes to accommodate different size infants. Since the goal is to deliver as much light to as much body surface area as possible, then you can choose the large pad for more surface area on a larger baby. By the same reasoning, the smaller pad for the smaller baby. You would have to decide if you would rather have more surface area at lower irradiance or less surface area at a higher irradiance level. Both pads offer sufficient irradiance to meet the definition of intensive phototherapy by the AAP, which is 30 microwatts per centimeter squared per nanometer or higher. So there's no problem using one pad over another for either size baby. In our user's manual, we do not indicate which size of pad to use. So it's really clinician choice or preference. Dave, can you explain the differences in pad sizes from an engineering perspective? Absolutely. Even though there are two different size pads, the LED source in the box, it's the same. It's the same LED intensity going down the fiber optic cable, but once it hits the pads, the smaller pad has the fibers more closely woven together in a smaller surface area. With the smaller pad, you can get as high as 50 microwatts per centimeter squared per nanometer with the cover. For the larger pad, you get 35 microwatts per centimeter squared per nanometer because the fibers are spread across a greater surface area. What if you have a level two NICU or step down? You may have a giraffe omnibed care station, but more than likely you'll have more incubators, warmers, cribs, or bassinets. The Billy Soft is a nice option because you can keep the baby on phototherapy and still allow mom and family to bond with the baby. The Billy Soft 2.0 can sit on a shelf, be mounted on a roll stand, or mounted on the bed. If you prefer an overhead phototherapy system, then you can also have the giraffe blue spot mounted on the side of a giraffe bed, or you can have it on a roll stand to use over a crib or bassinet. In a nursery setting, or if the baby is in the room with the mom, you can easily keep the baby on phototherapy. Mom can still hold and feed the baby. Family and visitors can even bond with the baby while he or she is still getting the required phototherapy dose. For overhead phototherapy, some people prefer a bank-style phototherapy device. GE offers the Lullaby LED Phototherapy System. For a lower acuity and cost-conscious department like the nursery, this may be a good option. The Lullaby LED Phototherapy System meets AAP guidelines for intensive phototherapy with an irradiance of 45 microwatts per centimeter squared per nanometer at a distance of 38 centimeters or 15 inches from the surface and provides phototherapy at the 450 to 465 nanometer spectrum. The LED lamp is designed to last for as long as 50,000 hours before 25% degradation occurs. Dave, can you explain the design differences of the Lullaby LED phototherapy system versus the giraffe blue spot? Of course. With bank style phototherapy, the LEDs are directly on the surface of the Lullaby LED PT. To provide phototherapy, the baby needs to be directly under the LEDs at 15 inches to get a radiance of 45 microwatts per centimeter squared per nanometer. The head can also be tilted, which is helpful if you're under a radiant warmer. With the Lullaby LED PT, we also designed it with two modes, a higher radiance, which provides 45 microwatts per centimeter squared per nanometer, or a lower radiance mode, which gives 20 microwatts per centimeter squared per nanometer at a distance of 15 inches or 38 centimeters. With the draft blue spot, the LEDs and the power source are in the light box. With the Lullaby LED, the LEDs are in the bank head and there's an external power source that has to be connected. So it's not as tidy as the draft blue spot, but that's part of the cost trade-off. Also with the design of the draft blue spot, the LED light is being sent through the light pipe to the compact light shade. With the long light pipe, it can be positioned easily over the baby to allow for a very uniform distribution of phototherapy over a large diameter. At 15 inches, it can provide treatment in a 14 inch diameter with the center measuring 45 microwatts per centimeter squared per nanometer. Now with the Lullaby LED PT, if you tilt it, there may be a drop in the incident irradiance when used in the tilted condition. And that's part of the design constraints of Lullaby's bank style phototherapy. Thanks, Dave. 
And one more thing, if your hospital discharges patients that need phototherapy at home, then the BillySoft 2.0 is indicated for home use. It's the most versatile phototherapy device we offer. To wrap it up, all of GE's phototherapy systems are designed to meet the AAP guidelines for intensive phototherapy with a radiance over 30 microwatts per centimeter squared per nanometer within the blue-green spectrum or 430 to 490 nanometer band. Dave, thank you for joining us today and thank you all for watching.